Daniil Medvedev explained why he snubbed Novak Djokovic before suggesting the world number one's records could be surpassed. Daniil Medvedev explained why he snubbed Novak Djokovic from a list of the tour's best backhands as he claimed it was the only alternative to one of the Serbs' brutal weapons. The world number six was also full of praise for young rival Carlos Alcaraz as he claimed the teenager had the potential to break records in a threat to Djokovic and Rafael Nadal's current achievements. Medvedev discussed the tennis world and some of his rivals at length in a new appearance on the tennis podcast, where he talked up Alcaraz and shared one of his key tactics against Djokovic. The 18-time title winner was asked to make a list of the tour's best backhands where he notably left out the current world number one and explained the reason for his snub when asked. After naming Alexander Zarev, Alejandro Davidovich Fokina and Andrei Rublev, the 27-year-old was asked about Djokovic's backhand. And Medvedev revealed that he couldn't add the Serb to the list because his forehand was so brutal that his backhand was actually the easier option when it came to playing the 22-time Grand Slam champion. The former world number one said, Yeah, but I feel like Novak's forehand is so good right now, the last four years, maybe before even but I haven't played him much before. That for example when I play him, I feel like I'm less in danger when I play on his backhand. Instead of adding Djokovic to his backhand list, he claimed that the 35-year-old had one of the best forehands. The way his forehand is just brutal I would say, probably one of the best on tour for me. So that's why I don't want to talk too much about his backhand because it's actually really beautiful and I mean the way he can slide through it is amazing, he added. While Medvedev backed Djokovic in the forehand standings, it appeared that he wasn't fully behind the world number one when it came to Carlos Alcaraz. Medvedev shared his wish to see the pair play more while also backing the Spaniard to break records. I think I would like to see more of Alcaraz, Novak and Rafa, the world number six said of his favorite rivalries to watch. Because when he beat them both in Madrid, again I was injured so I didn't watch the matches, but I watched Instagram and that was a highlight reel. There were so many highlights from those matches that could be great. And it's a pity that when Carlos won US Open he didn't have to face one of them because I think this could be amazing to watch. Medvedev and Alcaraz have only met once on the tour before the Spaniard became a Grand Slam champion and world number one, but the 27-year-old was still clearly impressed by what he had seen of the teenager from afar.